Hello and welcome to part 5 of rebuilding a large old twin cylinder steam engine. In this part I'm going to look at cleaning up the old parts and a visit to Blackgate's engineering. It's a place where I get my model engineering supplies from. I have done for many years and it's quite close by which makes it very convenient. In the meantime I've cleaned up the cylinders, removed that horrible lagging that was on there, the mahogany stuff and the car body filler. And I've also machined the pistons to take a 2 inch outside diameter silicone o-ring. Also, I've been doing some work on the stuffing glands on the steam chest. Originally these were very messy. One was much bigger than the other, as you can see here. And it was quite a mess. So I remachined them to the same size. And they do look much better now, as you can see by the photograph. This engine is never going to be the best engine in the world. But it will run well when I finish with it. And it will be mechanically reliable and cosmetically it will look a lot better than it does at the moment. The whole point of doing a renovation on an engine is not to remanufacture all the parts. There is a limit though. These are okay if you look at the bad markings on this. These will come out with a needle file and some emery cloth, I hope. Plenty of elbow grease required. These are the piston rod gland covers, and they were made out of brass and very much a rattle fit. I remachined them out of phosphor bronze which will be a much more hard wearing material. What I'm having to do is copy these parts. I cannot make them to standard dimensions because each part is almost completely different. A different diameter with the holes in the different place. It looks to me like the second builder of this engine, the one who did the cylinders, was not a good engineer at all. If you look at this, in one of the cylinders it has countersunk 2BA bolts and in this one it has some cheese head bolts just stuck in there. These actually foul the piston. And a simple solution to this is to find some more 2BA bolts, chop them off, and slit the ends like this to make a screw slot. Put them in with Loctite 542, not 603. That will make them almost immovable. But 542 is a hydraulic sealant, which will stop any steam from leaking through, and hold the studs in place more than sufficiently for the job that they're going to be doing, which is just to tighten the gland cover to compress the stuffing gland. This Loctite is great stuff. Not only does it lubricate the thread as it goes into the hole, once it's starved of oxygen it sets and will hold the stud in place. Looking at the pair of crossheads, they were pretty mashed up from years of abuse by people using screwdrivers and chisels to remove crank pins and things, and they weren't very well made in the first place. So I had to go cleaning them up and the result is okay as you can see here. All these parts are going to revolutionise the way this engine performs. And they're going to look okay too. I did mention about elbow grease. Here you see me with a piece of emery cloth cleaning up the reversing lever. And the only way to do it really is by hand. Although I may enlist the help of my little Dremel with a wire brush or something to get into the corners. Already the parts are looking much better. Although I do think that the actual reversing lever will need painting. Because it's not very good at all. At least it will stop it from rusting when you handle it all the time. I'll wait and see what it looks like when I put some more time and effort into cleaning it up. But for now I need a break, I really am getting sick of cleaning bits of metal. So it's a quick trip to Blackgate's Engineering. Blackgate's Engineering is a model engineer supplies and luckily quite near where I live. And I've known them for many years. I frequently visit Blackgate's, it's a one stop shop for most of the things that I need. For instance, today I'm going in there to buy some cylinder covers. I don't mean finished cylinder covers, I mean cast iron to make cylinder covers, which they cut me off a big piece of cast iron. There aren't many companies will do this. The larger stockholders just give you a funny look and they don't really want to be bothered with it. But Blackgates is fine. You can get all the fine detail stuff. Wonderful precision paints. Everything's very high quality, especially the castings. I've used many castings that I bought from Blackgates over the years. And I've never had any problems at all. You can get just about everything that you're going to need for the job here. And as a bonus to myself, because I live quite near Blackgates, I don't have to wait for the postman. Have a look on their website, www.blackgates.co.uk. You'll see all the details. There's a downloadable online catalogue. Or if you want a paper version, that's available too. And this concludes my short visit to Blackgates Engineering. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful.